This is Signal Hounds talking RF, and today we're talking product development. You don't always need expensive or overly complex test equipment to get the job done. We build our devices to include the important features and functionality, but keep things lean by leaving out the non-essentials. Delivering accurate, portable, and powerful RF analysis capabilities that afford engineers the opportunity to put more devices in the field. Hello and welcome to Talking RF. Sean here with Tom Lane, President of SignalHound, and today we're going to be talking about product development. Whether you're needing EMC pre-compliance capabilities in a small two-person shop or spectrum monitoring on a national scale, SignalHound test equipment is designed with you in mind. Tom, in your experience, tell us a little bit about the SignalHound products and the industry response. The industry response to SignalHound products is really, in a word, energized. I think you go to a show, we, we interact with our customers, uh, we'll go to shows, we'll interact with them on the phone, via emails, we see them, and there's true excitement and energy about our products. It's interesting to see, we're a test and measurement company, we're not making iPhones, we're not making commercial gadgets that people love, but our customer base is super excited about everything that we do, that we do and anything that we talk about. And that excitement actually and is genuine and that excitement is mutual too, because we also care about what they're doing and we care about participating in their success as well. Can you give me some examples of products that you've spoken with, uh, you know, to uh, customers or people in the industry that, that really excite, uh, you know, the RF community? So a good example of that would be the SM435s. The SM435 breakthrough product, 43.5 gigahertz spectrum analyzer. Um, through the S, through our flagship and in our a part of our flagship SM product line, um, that millimeter wave capable product uh, at the price point that it is at, at the form factor that it's in, and the the value that it brings to the customer base, um, they get excited about that. And where, like, where in the world do these products work? Uh, where 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 does the SM435 series work, both commercially and? Uh, maybe a military application. So the SM products in general, both the SM200, the SM435s, um, they work as a test and measurement product. They can work on a bench in a, on an industrial line, uh, on a manufacturing line somewhere. Um, and they are, it is a calibrated piece of test and measurement equipment and can be used as such um, in, those, in those environments. They're also used in a whole other application space, which is like a spectrum monitoring space, where they're really kind of used as software-defined radios. Um, so now you're, you're looking at a, at a calibrated piece of test and measurement equipment that's, that is competing against, um, against software-defined radios and just, just simple radios that you tune and filter and decimate and receive a signal. And that's the other sort of ap big application space. And I think the, the value that we bring into those two spaces is incredible. And, and we will compete favorably against um, some of the standard software-defined radio companies as well. Are we talking um, like bigger scale or, or are we talking like, you know, uh, mom and pop or, or uh, small two-man shop, um, you know, scenarios? Uh, for this application, you very, very large scales. So with a, with a value add piece of equipment like this, um, we can see this being um, being used across entire nations um, in nation in that 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 level wow. and that scale. So, yeah. uh, but it also can be used. A ham radio guy who has the extra cash may actually want something like the, of this nature. Too. There is a price differentiator. The SM product line, the, the SM two hundred, is a, that's a that is a unit that will operate from one hundred kilohertz to twenty gigahertz. Uh, if you don't need that frequency range support, then maybe you would be looking at a BB60 item, which is four kilohertz to six gigahertz. You can use a BB60 type item to uh, take up on a cell tower and and take measurements from that perspective. Um, and you may want to do that. Uh, you can also use a product like this that goes up to 20 gigahertz to, or even the SM435 up to 43.5 gigahertz. It really depends not so much about the size of the customer, but about the application or the problem that you're trying to solve. We definitely keep the customers in mind and we definitely listen to the customers and listen to what they, what they want, what they need. Um, and we definitely provide products in that space and provide products specifically for them. The, uh, the key is what's your frequency, what, what's your frequency range you need to support. And uh, there is a little bit of a budget because if you go to a, to a higher frequency item like an SM200, it's going to be more expensive than a lower frequency item that, like a BBC uh, 60. 
Well, great. Well, Dom, thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate your insight. Really appreciate the conversation. I think you offered a lot to the, you know, the RF community and beyond. And uh, if you guys have any additional questions for Tom or anything we've talked about here today, um, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below.